Hey guys, this is the Gamer Doc. You're watching Gamer Fit Nation, and today we're going to be talking about carpal tunnel. On PSN, UN Cyrus asks me, is carpal tunnel a serious risk for gamers and what can we do to avoid or minimize risk? So let's talk about carpal tunnel. You've all heard about it. Some of you may even think you have it. So what is it? So this is a drawing of the hand and what you can see here, this is the so-called carpal tunnel where the median nerve goes from your wrist and enters into your hand where it's responsible for sensation and, and motor ability to your thumb, to your first finger, your middle finger, and the, um, the medial part of your fourth finger. Um, across the wrist is this thing that's actually called the um, transverse carpal ligament. This is this really tight band that um, the nerve travels under. Car in carpal tunnel syndrome, this band is really compressing that nerve, causing it to be inflamed and causing gamers to have a lot of um, uh, sensory changes, um, numbness and tingling, and in worst cases, pain. So that's the so-called carpal tunnel syndrome. How do you know if you have it? Well, the symptoms, as I described, are usually um, numbness, tingling, or pain in, in mostly the first three fingers, from your thumb to your pointer to your middle finger and your ring finger, part of. Um, and uh, usually a good test to determine if you have it is if you flex your wrist for a good 30 seconds and those symptoms come on. That's the first, or if you get um, a friend or a healthcare professional to tap on the carpal tunnel, um, these are called Tinel's and Phelan signs, and if that reproduces the pain, that's a sign that you have carpal tunnel also. What is it associated with? Well, there is um, you know, a huge debate as to whether it's caused by repetitive um, stress of the, of the carpal tunnel and the nerve. Um, typically you hear the story of um, somebody who works at a computer or a PC gamer who does a lot of uh, um, tapping and a lot of uh, repetitive motions. I know when I went through my six months of obsession with World of Warcraft, all I was doing for six, seven hours a night was just tapping those, uh, those buttons to get my hunter to ensnare uh, you know, the mobs. Anyway, um, so what can you do about it? Well, the treatments um, go from very, very conservative to invasive surgery. Um, in kind of the least invasive approach is just uh, a wrist brace. Um, typists or gamers who are at their PC definitely want to have a rest um, for, on their mouse pad so that their um, wrist is elevated and um, supported. Um, if it's really getting bad and the pain is not resolving with just frequent breaks from your PC, um, frequent gaming breaks or what have you, um, you may want to see a doctor who may consider things like steroid injections. Um, and really in the most drastic case, sometimes, as we were talking about, the whole um, cause of the trouble is this fascial band here and that has to be released and that's called a carpal tunnel release and that frees up the nerve. Now, that surgery is really only reserved for people who have the worst case, um, worst cases symptoms and um, are not responding to more conservative management. But as with a lot of things that I'm talking to gamers about, really the best thing is moderation with your gaming, frequent rests, and to listen to your body. If you're feeling numbness and tingling in your hand, that's not normal, okay? Um, our gaming is a great hobby and it should be practiced as a healthy one. So you just have to um, really listen to, your, to yourself and if you think that your gaming is causing something that needs some help, you need to stop, you need to rest, and you need to um, talk to a doctor and see what the options are. Thanks for listening. This is the Gamer Doc saying, don't just be fit, be gamer fit.